<laughs> okay. Um, you really put me on the spot. I, I just want to say uh, I think I'm a little a little bit different. This is something coming to the Ghana has been a dream uh, of mine for like 50 years and um, and when I finally got here I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe I actually made it out, out of the U.S. alive, you know, because of the, st the stressors and, you know, and the everyday life and stuff like that. So I wanted to come here, didn't know a soul, uh, was bold enough to come anyway, you know. And uh, I was just answering the call, and, and the call came down. The ancestors said, go, get out now. It was a voice, just as clear as day. It was like, get out. It wasn't get out when your money's right. Get out, you know, uh, year after next. It was get out now. And, and I did, you know. And um, it wasn't a popular thing to do because I'm a mother and grandmother. And uh, I have grown sons, and uh, they didn't like the idea of their mother up and leaving and going to a place where, the, where she, she didn't know anyone. So uh, needless to say, I didn't have the support of my, my children because they, they didn't think it made sense. And one of my sons said, now, Mama, don't be over there and they have no baboons chasing you. And no, you know, I'm like, baboons? Where am I going? Where you think I'm going? You know, they're thinking that, that, that I'm in the jungle somewhere, you know? But any, at any rate, I'm here, and I'm happy to be here. I, I looked upon Pram Pram, had no idea, never heard of Pram Pram, just, just ended up here. And ended up uh, coming to the ancestral wall, and I had seen it on, on YouTube. And once I came here, I, I knew this was my mission. This is the mission for the rest of my life. To uh, support the ancestral wall, to help Jerry and Obama uh, um, bring this place uh, in, into its rightful place in the diaspora, this should be the destination of our people to come here. And this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my days: is to work hard to make it that. Um, so some of you all have already seen the videos on YouTube, and we have a. A sponsor who's well known, Bodhi Maya, is a is a sponsor, and he he believes in the ancestral wall, and um, um, so we're working very hard to make this place somewhere monumental. Monumental, as you know, we got to do something with that road out there, and and a lot of things. But the resource center, uh, if you all haven't seen it, going up in the back, uh, uh, thanks to uh, folks uh, on YouTube sending them money, they continue to send them money to, to help us to build it. We're thankful for that. So all I can say is I'm, I'm nobody special, everybody. I'm just a, a little old 75 year old lady who decided to, um, to leave uh, her middle class life in DC and, and to come here. And I'm happy that I did. Somebody asked me, well, do, uh, do you go back to DC? Do you go back to, to US? I said, well, to me, the US is like hell. And I'm in heaven. Why would I leave heaven to go back to hell for it? So that's how I feel about it. So, oh no, I'm not going back to hell. You don't take, once you bust it out of hell, you don't go back and take pictures of it. You know? So I want to I wanna thank you all. It, this is the right move, okay? This is, this is the thing to do. And I wake up every morning and I'm glad to be here. I love my house. I love my art gallery. I love everything that, that I've managed to to pull together in a year and a half that I've been here. I'm very thankful and very grateful. I've knitted together a network of sister friends and, and brothers and, and a family here of people that I love very much and have been very good to me. So I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful. So if you all join us here, you'll find a home too. You know, because I, I, I still fry my fish and we, we, we have fish and grits on Sunday. Right. And, my favorite. And we play beer whist and we throw our hair back and we laugh. This wish, she's she taking it we back. We do all the things that we play Frankie Beverly and we yeah. do all of that. Break of the do all of that. For the culture, okay? For the culture, there you go. For the culture. So I'm, I'm so glad uh, that I was invited to come just to meet you. We appreciate it, yeah, sister. I can't appreciate meet it. You, Thank you. Uh, yeah, I salute you, my brother. I do. I salute uh, each and every one of us because we're extraordinary. Yeah. 
you have to be to, to put them pennies together to get on that big big plane and come all the way over here across that big water. You got to be, you know, because you could still be, be at home watching TV, but no, you're all all the way over here. So I salute you. It's wonderful that you came. And I hope you decide to make this your home, okay? All right, so if you do happen to come back to Pram Pram, everybody knows where I live. In the, in the yellow house down the road, you know, come by and say hi, okay? Thank you. Absolutely. And then that's why I give everybody a name once again. Oh, they, everybody calls me Mama Vera, but I got a long name like a gospel singer. Somebody said, when I die, I have to have two tombstones because I got so many names. But Mama Vera will suffice, okay? okay. Yes, Mama Vera, appreciate your energy. Next week, that'll be the uh, fish and grits. Ain't <laughs> 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 Okay, now one thing. Uh